and you have forgotten the exhortation which is addressed to you as sons. My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor faint when you are reproved by him. For those whom the Lord loves, he disciplines, and he scourges every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you endure. God deals with you as with sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? But if you are without discipline, of which all have become partakers, then you are illegitimate children and not sons. Furthermore, we had earthly fathers to discipline us, and we respected them. Shall we not much rather be subject to the Father of spirits and live? Hebrews 12, 5-9, NASB Have you ever wondered why parents sometimes discipline their children? It might not feel good at the time, but it's because they love them and want them to grow up right. Well, guess what? God does the same for us. In Hebrews 12, 5 through 9, it says that when God corrects us, it's because he loves us, just like a parent who cares for their child. God's discipline is like a guide for us, helping us make good choices and grow into better people. So when life feels tough and you face challenges, remember, it's God's way of helping you become the amazing person you're meant to be. Embrace his loving discipline and know that it's a sign of his deep love for you. Prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving me so much that you discipline me when I need it. Help me understand that your correction is for my good and growth. I trust you to guide me in the right path. In Jesus' name, amen.